Dozens of people, mostly mothers with their young children, showed up at this smart bus terminal in Troy to protest the alleged mistreatment of a nursing mother by a female bus driver. I get on the bus and she keeps telling me, no, you're going to have to cover that up. And that's, no, ma'am, I don't. It was African Moon, who is a member of Black Mothers Breastfeeding Association, who says last Friday a bus driver verbally harassed her for nursing her baby boy. What I think she wanted was for me to put a cover all over the baby's head. That's what I think. She wanted me to cover the baby's head. That way you couldn't see any skin whatsoever. It was so disrespectful. It was hurtful, especially because it came from a woman. I'm not usually very good about covering up because I feel that if you're looking at my chest, long enough to see some tissue, that's on you. That's not me. I know with my daughter, she couldn't eat with a cover-up on. So I want to feel safe feeding my baby the way that she needs to eat. And sometimes that's not with a cover-up over you. Smart provided an air-conditioned bus for the protesters to get out of the heat if they chose. And a spokesperson for the company says the driver in question has been taken off the road while they conduct an internal investigation. And they agree with these mothers who say they have a right to breastfeed on board a bus. We do feel it's an isolated incident. And um, we've taken the steps, the appropriate steps, to uh, educate our drivers on what what uh, women's rights are for breastfeeding. So what does African Moon think should happen to the bus driver in question? I think she needs to be to, to be retrained. She needs a sensitivity class first off because the language that she used uh, towards me on the bus was wrong. In Troy, Kimberly Craig, Channel 7 Action News.